Oh, Aaron has been sucked up in meetings because he had his Wednesday company meeting and then the, the, the daily 1031 and then he had a monthly one-on-one -on -one or something? Quarterly. Quar quarterly, okay. I was a bit frustrated with that one. I was like, it just keeps going. It was like an hour long. But we had a mispackaged delivery. Not necessarily, it got to the right place, but the person hadn't lived, hadn't lived here in a year because his girlfriend forgot. His girlfriend forgot to update the address. He lives with her. Whatever. <laughs> Leaving at the end of that one, if any but that face is exactly what, yeah. Anyways, so I have new practice cleats. I have actually a return form for Ferrella, but the problem is, you know, and it's just in case I have to return these. Um, but that also means that I'm like, I'm not necessarily sure if I have the, yeah, there's the article number. Oh, that's this. Yeah, anyways, but what I got was knee pads, kind of on emergency chipping. They're just absolutely huge, and it's, it's just weird. I mean, look at these sinful things. <laughs> like, I'm not even actually sure if they fit in my pants. <laughs> I mean, technically, they should, considering I bought these pants from Forella. <laughs> that doesn't necessarily mean anything, though. <laughs> Just because your pants came from the company and the pads came from the company does not mean they fit together. And these are definitively knee pads. Well, I've seen things tight and fit tighter. Good fit, I guess. Let me get the other one in. I'm worried kind of about this one, though, is because I got my toe stuck in it one time, um, and I kind of tore a little bit of the... Yeah, see, that little bit right there? I ain't worried about it because, mm, whatever, <laughs> my girdle had pads in it, <laughs> in the knee pads. So, now it's like, eh. Once you pop it a little closed, it should be fine. I don't know if you guys can actually hear the thing. I've got a bunch of comments coming in. Fancy yeah, knee pads. They fit. They're gonna be. They're gonna be okay. <laughs> now they're actually gonna be big enough that they'll pull this around my calf area. But the new cleats are these. They look like my old black ones. They're not exactly. I think these are technically the year. The next because these are my old ones that have kind of broken out the side and these are my new ones they see the the Nike swoosh is still there in all the right places it still has that f fleck design the pixelated design or something but as is I'm not really using black I figured I'd just get like an extra figure out what to do with I think I might as well just trash cleats I don't know no if they get <laughs> they're a little too complicated to be putting in like a symphony or something like that <laughs> yeah. I mean, they're broken. It's not like I can sell them or give them to someone else. I mean, unless there's some gearhead out there that wants completely <laughs> broken cleats. I'm going to be heading off and doing stairs here in a bit. The, the gym is reserved at 245. Um, again, I'm probably going to hit, I'm probably going to hit more on the bag in the back um, during my time slot rather than stuff. And I'll probably talk with the doctor. Well, doctor's on vacation. So oh. he, the doctor's on vacation. So I got the message back from a colleague or an assistant or something about the elbow. Physio doesn't need to have a, a house arts referral, but I, it's a message. It doesn't cost anything. So yeah, I have a silver and Kraus, silver and Kraus thing. So we may want to look at that one real quick. I find it quite suspicious that this says BLT on it after one of my more recent popular TikToks. Coincidence? I don't know. <laughs> and that bothers me a lot. But yeah, I'll probably be doing some bag stuff because if I'm going to be doing 
reps of stairs, I don't need to be on the treadmill for 45 minutes. I can just do it for like half an hour because an elevated long-term heart rate is also good for, because they are different exercises. They're, they're working functional different things, but there's still a bit of cardio in doing stairs. <laughs> so there's that. Um, but I'll probably talk to the uh, guy out in, uh, there's a Kirchhoff physio at the gym and I'll see about how that one works. See if we can just set up some quickie little stuff there about this elbow because it feels awkward. If you guys saw Monday's video, like I pushed that bar so high up there I needed to catch a hold of it and it pulled my arm extra further and I was like, ah, you got extended a little bit and you kind of hurt. So, yeah, I'm gonna figure out about that one. There's like apparently five physios on this island, but... <laughs> Yeah, the one downstairs has been remodeling for like Yeah, that one has no entire yeah, time. Yeah, that one has no reviews on it. Um I don't think they ever actually opened. Yeah, I don't. I think they're in the process of opening, but they need to kind of quasi remodel something. I don't know. It's in the process of opening. I don't expect Walmart to be like, I'm gonna put down a Walmart sign here and suddenly everybody's shopping for guns and popcorn in the next day. Especially if this is a single owned business and the person is doing all the renovations themselves. Yeah. Especially if he's trying to open up like a new practice somewhere else. He may be doing it in his off time. It's fine. But they're like the house arts that we maybe want to switch to has a physio in it. It also has a blue off nama in it. They'll take your blood over there. You don't have to go all the way to the thinger that I know of or something. OLBG. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and apparently there's like three or more physios over in the house. But I'm like, is this just like home physio stuff? Or we will come visit you for physio? And I'm like, no, I just, I don't know how this stuff works. So I'm going to ask the one at the gym because they have like a little bed and, you know, the guys that work there are fucking hunks. <laughs> I swear to God, I just put my phone in my pocket. <laughs> and it's like, mm -hmm. so I'm here at the stairs, as you guys can see. Um, I got out a little bit late. Um, just doing some stuff, answering some questions actually on TikTok. Uh, it's really crazy how um, many of the American football players in the Netherlands find my posts. I'm not saying they shouldn't. And they're just like, ah! Like they gack out over it because, you know, minority of a minority and they just fight. It's, the Europeans love it when you name their stuff on a major video and they're like, oh! They do that Leonardo meme, so yeah, they love it. But anyways, this guy has, let's see, let me get this stuff in the pocket because I don't have time right now. I just gotta run whatever I can to get to the gym on time. I was late yesterday and they're not really gonna care. Does that vibrate? Gucci flip-flops replied to your comment. Oh boy, replying to a comment is, Always awkward because I shit talk on other things. Oh, about my height and weight. That is a bit much, isn't it? 105 kilos, 181 centimeters. I mean, that's a bit much, isn't it? No offense, bro, but 105 kilos at 181. That linebacker life. What's that say? Translate. Pretty fat for European standards. Yeah, I know. So I'm gonna run some stairs. It looks icky, but it's not gonna rain. He's got a wonderful, like, cord. I'm not gonna film him because they're both exactly looking at me. But he's basically suspending, you guys can see how steep that hill is there. He's just standing up on the middle part and he's like, rappelling it down and like, using its weight to cut the grass. But it's basically just like a regular push mower, but flat. And he's just pulling it up and down. He, he's like scraping it along and it's mowing. So, this is flat. And that's like the steepness of the hill. I mean, <laughs> it's, it's nuts. But it was a cool concept. But they didn't have like the lawn mowers without wheels. It was, it was just weird and I liked it. But yeah, I did 15 and this is the, uh, this is the blue shirt that I got at Decathlon that one time. One of those where underneath my, uh, 
Jersey sort of thing. Like, maybe not tomorrow, but like Sundays and stuff. Where's my phone? There you are. So yeah, I'm just taking some deep breaths right now. Getting the heart rate back down. I don't have a short trip to the gym. Uh, it is, however, not a long trip to the gym. Oh, hello. Boingy, 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 boingy. Anyways, I'm, uh, why are you saying 70? What are you counting? I'm blinking 70. Why do we want? Is asking my kilos? I'm not 70 kilos. I should probably check that next time. I'll actually calculate my calories correctly if it's asking my weight, but I don't really pay attention. Yeah, I talked a little bit to Afert back there. I did, there's some guy jogging on this, so I did my little bit of, I did some uh, BOSU ball balancing. I can't do anything in the back room. They got children's dance classes in there. <laughs> but yeah, uh, Yan from in Hilversum, he posted the little sign. It was like, take this moment to take a deep breath. And I responded, I just ran up 50 flights of stairs. That's all I can do, hashtag dying. <laughs> I'm at least gonna try to get half an hour in. Um, I wanted to get this shirt to be a little drier before I got it wet again. It's uh, 310 right now. So we'll chat here in a little bit. I'll figure out something else to do. Um, I don't know. I might do the sled stuff with Gabriel on Saturday. Aaron's getting vaccinated, and then he's going straight to game. So I'm keeping it at 5'6", but I've been slowly increasing this. But I only got three minutes left. <laughs> I have thoroughly dripped all over this thing. I'm looking like a hot man. There, see? That's the original color of the shirt. <laughs> and that exists because part of the seam is right there holding it off my skin. I'm gonna be fucking skinny. God damn it. Oh, okie dokie. I'm gonna stop. I restarted a new thing. Yes, it did ask me for my weight after a little while of checking, so I'll have to make sure I know about that one. It's dripping off my eyebrows, guys. But I have to sanitize this thing because I sweated all over it and got ick on it. I'm technically past my time. But I was talking with Gabriel about the sprint thing. Aaron's getting vaccinated this weekend. So it's uh, a bit awkward to run it this Saturday. But there are five Saturdays in July. <laughs> so that could be good. Do them all in July. and. Even though I have a, my shtick appointment in July, it's at 11.15 in the morning. So in theory, I shouldn't feel too bad after that. I mean, it did take me like six hours to start feeling crappy. But, uh, but yeah, I got this. So I'm tempted to not, because like with the elbow problem, let's get here. Gotta lean forward. The general idea, as Ed keeps saying, is keep your thumbs up. Don't push like that. Can I move you a bit closer so you can see that? It's going to jerk the camera around a lot, but... But yeah, you don't want to... You don't want to push it like that because then your thing, you want to... That feels a little weird here. But, as you can see, my arms definitely have the ability to get that. And repeating that motion over and over is definitely. But as I was talking with Afert a while back, it's a bit awkward to get the stance. And just, because I want to lean into it and it sucks. I don't have a square base. 
Listen. And that just wrecks the camera because this thing shakes. And I need to get lower. <laughs> My legs are a bit noodly right now. But that's what fourth quarter thing is. drive for five but I can't because <laughs> there's crap in the way <laughs> all right so yeah I checked with uh, Gabriel and talked more with Afert um, just in general uh, anyways yeah that's just a general physio in there so I'll look at the website about setting up the dude that works in the physio place was working out in the gym <laughs> Damn. <laughs> like that butt <laughs> That butt. <laughs> so yeah, that's pretty much that for today. Stairs, cardio, worked on the BOSU ball, did some stuff at the thing because the kid class was over. I had to wait till, anyways, yep, that's that. I bought one of those little things for Aaron to try. Um, I bought two of them because apparently uh, ananas, coco, oh my God, it's so great. <laughs> they're they're deceptively delicious uh, it's just so yellow and I love it but oh nom, nom, nom.